Hello, hello everyone. My name is Alex Martinez and today I am super excited to talk to you about this amazing dynamic tutorial where you can actually go and interact with it and do stuff and learn about it. So this awesome tutorial was created by Rolando Carrasco, which is one of the MuleSoft mentors, I believe, might be ambassador, I'm not sure at this point, but this is amazing because you will be able to learn about what you're doing and do it like in an actual new environment. You don't have to do it in your local computer. You just you can just use this remote computer and access everything there and learn to do it right there. So right now I just accessed the link that you will be able to find in uh, the description of the video or in the article. Um, once you enter, you will just, it will just take a moment as you were seeing, like a lot of things were running, everything was being installed. Once that it's installed, um, here it says you just have to select this, which is keep the local version currently installed, as you can see here. So click on that or just leave it like that and press enter so you can select OK. Now it will continue installing so some stuff. And once that is done, you will be able to get started with the tutorial. So right here on the right screen, you will be able to see everything that is running. And on the left side of the screen, you will be able to see the actual tutorial that Rolando created for us. So after you do that, just wait a moment and wait for this to be installed. There are also some prerequisites that you can continue, like any point platform, having an account, um, API catalog, CLI permissions, acquire organization ID, having Node.js and NPM. So this is going to be installed here automatically. The code editor will be also used here and the projects files. Um, they will come from this GitHub repo that was generated by one of the product mar technical product marketing managers in Salesforce. So in this scenario, here's what you will learn, how to create a connected app, how to install the API catalog CLI, how to authenticate the API catalog CLI, how to introspect a set of API specs, and how to use different MuleSoft Anypoint API catalog commands. All right, so this has been finished. This is finished, so we can just click on start. Okay, so we are going to start now. Um, this is our whole system. This is our terminal. If you click here on editor, you will be able to see what is actually happening behind the scenes. Like this is a Visual Studio code, as you can see. Here you have another terminal and here you have the explorer of all the files that you have in case you want to take a look at them, but you can just stay here on the terminal tab. So the first thing that you have to do is to install curl, jq, node, and npm. You can just do this on your own. I am just going to guide you through it and I'm going to do it myself so you can see how this is done in case you have any issues or anything that you are stuck in. You can just come here to this video and follow through. So you can simply click on this and this will automatically execute everything for you. So as you saw, I just click on it and it started automatically installing everything. I just zoomed in a little bit. So that is to install curl, jq, node, and npm. Now you need jq for some expressions. So let's just click here. This is running in Ubuntu. So that's why you have here apt install. So that was installed. And now validate node and npm. Again, you can just click on the command. It will run it for you. And as we can see from here, it's on version 20, 12, 1. Then we're going to install MuleSoft API Catalog CLI. So click on that and it will install. It's going to take a little bit of time to install. So while that's being installed, I just wanted to quickly show you here. If you take a look at this part here, it says that you have 50, well, I have 53 minutes to finish this. To be honest with you, I did it once already and it took like 20 minutes or so. So you do not need to have like the plus membership. Just with the regular membership, it's okay. You will be able to finish this in less than 60 minutes. All right, this has been installed. Now let's go ahead and 
click on API catalog to see that everything was installed correctly. And we are able to see this output right here, which is what we need. All right, so let's click on next now. Now this is telling us to clone the GitHub repo. So let's do that. Once we have that, we will just change the directory to that place. And you can also go back to the editor here and see that the repo was actually cloned. Now let's go back to tab one and click on next. Now we are going to start creating the connected apps from AnyPoint platform. So first of all, you have to open AnyPoint platform. So let's open it by clicking it here. So it's asking us to sign in. I'm just going to go ahead and sign up and create a new account. All right, I'm pretty much ready. Let's create this account. All right, my account was created. Now let's see what we need to do. We have to go to access management and click on connected apps. So let's do that uh, here, access management and then connected apps. Then we need to create a new app, put the name and click on app acts on its own behalf. So create app killer Coda, whatever name you want to put, just click on this and then add scopes. So which scopes are we going to be adding here? We have API catalog, API catalog contributor. So this one, then in the general section, we have view environment. This one right here. And that is all just two scopes. Click on next. So let's click on next. This is my business group. Click on next. Um, in my case it's sandbox. So click on next and that's it. Perfect. Click on add scopes. So now you have the two scopes and click on save. Perfect. Now you have it here. So now we just have to copy the ID and secret that we will need in a moment. So let's click on next step. And now we're going to be setting up our credentials. So I can just click on this and this is going to ask me to add the client ID. So if I go back here, I can click on copy ID and then go back and pretty much just paste it here and press enter and that's it. So now let's do the same for the secret and let's go back, copy secret, and then let's go back and paste it. I'm not, well, it doesn't matter. So paste it. There we go. Click on enter. And then we are going to create the auth string. So we are going to be setting up client ID and then a colon and then client secret. So let's click on that. And let's just validate that that was created by echoing the auth string. And we do. So awesome. There's that. Now let's click on next. And now we need to authenticate to any point platform. So we need to run this, which is doing a curl, a post request to any point on millsoft.com, setting up the access token. So let's run that. And we can see that we received an access token. Now we need to get our organization ID. So Rolando here is telling us to go to API manager and get it from the URL. So if we go to API manager, you can indeed get it from the URL. So in this case, it's like four, five, zero, 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 blah, blah, blah. And it ends on EDB. Another way is to click here on environment information. And you will also see it right here, business group ID. And we have the same one, which is four, five, zero, 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 blah, 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 and EDB. And just another way, because I just want to show you all the ways. If you go to access management, click on business groups, and then this is your business group. You can get it from here as well. Business group ID 4500 EDB. So whichever way you want to retrieve this org ID, just retrieve it. And now run this and paste it here and press enter. And there's that. So now let's click on next. And now we need to generate a descriptor file. So if we run API catalog, create descriptor, we can run this. And that created the descriptor. Awesome. So there's that. We can also check that it was created. So if we go to follow tutorial and then 
we have here the catalog.yaml and this is what was created. So you can also go check it out there in the files if you want. Let's go back here. When you're following the whole tutorial, you can of course take a look at everything that's happening here. I will just skip that for a moment. So we were here. We want to copy the following text. So you can simply just click on it and it will copy. And then we want to paste it here in the catalog.jaml. So paste it um, and saved. That is automatically saved. You don't have to save it. So now get back to the tab one and you can execute the following command to publish the asset. So API catalog publish assets. Before I do that, I am going to go ahead and go to my exchange to show you that I have nothing else here. So here we go. This is my root and I have nothing here. So let's go ahead and run this. Okay. So that was a dry run. So you can see the contents from the dry run here and it actually says that it's um, processing. So that's good. So now let's actually run it. So if we click on it, it will actually start. Yes, now it's doing the whole thing. You can see that it's publishing to exchange. So we're seeing the output. And after that, we will be able to see the asset actually on exchange. All right, so the API was successfully published. Now, if we go back to exchange, let's just refresh this. And now we can see that we have the shipping API, the invoice payment system API, and we actually have a connector of invoice payment system API. So there's that, we have that new thing. Click on next and that is all. If you check out the shipping API, this is what we published, which is awesome. You have everything here. You have even like the snippets. Well, it doesn't work. Well, this one works, awesome. <laughs> Um, but yeah, you can just do everything from here. And this is a great way to learn because you can see all of the commands. You can execute them by just clicking on them. You don't have to set up anything else. It took me again, less than 60 minutes. If we take a look at my screen and see how much time I have left, I have now 40 minutes left. So as you can see, it did take me less than 60 minutes. You can just go back and restart or do more stuff about this. So this is an awesome way of learning. Thank you, Rolando, for creating this. I really, really appreciate it. I don't know how long it took you to do this, but this is awesome. So you can get all of the information in the description of the video or in the article. If I already created the article, it's going to be in the description of the video. If not, you can just go to prasep.com or check out everything in the description of the video in YouTube. And that's all then. This is awesome. Thank you, Rolando, again. And I hope I get to see more people creating tutorials, like interactive tutorials in this platform called Killer Coda. All right. And that is how you solve it. In case you, for any reason, um, didn't wasn't able to do it all on your own, that is totally fine. You can also send some feedback here for Rolando, or you can just contact him on LinkedIn or on Slack if you're on the MuleSoft community Slack channel workspace <laughs> and that's all so from my side remember to follow us on youtube.com slash prosdev or remember to subscribe in prosdev.com because you will receive notifications as soon as we publish new stuff all right that's all for this video i hope you liked it i hope this was useful and i hope there are more tutorials from this platform all right see you later bye